Today we're going to talk about the difference between two different odd terms, 4K and 8K. Now you may have heard these terms thrown around in conversations around displays or monitors, whatever it is that shows an image from a computer. And that's because 4K and 8K are measures of the clarity of the image that a monitor or display can produce. Now, specifically what we're talking about is this. When you look at any display, you have some sort of rectangular object. And if you were to look really closely at that object, you'd see that the images on it are made up of extremely small, tiny dots. And those dots are whatever colors needed at that exact spot for whatever image you need to show on the display. Those little dots form, say, an X and Y axis, to get a little bit nerdy about it. It's just rows and rows and rows of dots, all stacked up on top of each other. And when you get them all set up to the exact right color for each one, you have an image, whatever you want to be displayed on the screen, whether it's text or it's, you know, a static image like a photograph or whether it's video where it changes quickly, but you can see what the visual representation is. Each one of those little dots is called a pixel, P-I-X-E-L. So when we talk about these terms of 4K and 8K, what they are specifically is an indication of the resolution of the image you're going to show on that monitor. Specifically, how many pixels are used horizontally and vertically, 4,000 or 8,000 respectively, just to talk in relative terms. Now what it means in practical terms is this. An image is shown on a regular size monitor, any monitor that you're used to using for productivity or playing games or whatever, that's shown in 4K is going to be pretty crisp in terms of definition. But you may still be able to notice some sort of computerish aspect to the image when you look at it. You know, things won't be perfectly smooth or exact crisp definition. On the other hand, an image that is an 8K image is actually four times as dense in terms of how many pixels are used on it. It's a much clearer, crisper image. So what do you need to take away from this? Well, there's a couple different things. The first is this. How do you look at different displays and figure out what you need or want? You'll see 4K and 8K displays on the market. Now, they're quite expensive. For a 4K monitor, you're going to pay a pretty penny. For an 8K monitor, you're going to pay a lot. It's relatively cutting edge. And you don't automatically want to get the best one or the 8K. Because here's the thing. Not every image that you'll have that you want to show from your computer will actually be an 8K image. Because your display, no matter how good it is, can't make something that's in a lower resolution as an image or a video display any better. Now, on the other hand, a lot of video content providers or, you know, photography providers are providing their images now in an 8K format, much clearer image resolution. In which case, if you, you know, spring for a nice 8K monitor, you'll be able to take advantage of it. So in high level terms, 4K and 8K are measurements of the clarity or precision of the image that you can get out of a display device. And when considering what display device to get, you need to look at both the clarity or resolution of the display device, say the monitor, but also what is the typical use case? What level of clarity or resolution are the typical images you're going to show going to be? So there you have it, the difference between 4K and 8K.